L. What do you think? Yes. A lot of the stuff has been moved here. So, as you can see, I have my QED, my brewing stand, I moved the vat over so we can grab water from it if we want, made a new easy crafting table, my wall o machines that I've slightly rearranged, here's the chest for things that need to be ground, cobble for example, they'll grind up in here, they get directly added to this chest, which is the smelting chest. And then over here, I have a chest for other things I want to cook in the alloy smelter. And that's working through my backlog. Then I've got my thermal expansion machines down here, my slice and splice. I can even look here at uh, how much power I've got. This is all being run off of one of the magmatic dynamos that I got from off of the quarry that's not running anymore. This chest right now is just extra metal that I didn't have a better place to put. And then upstairs, I moved over the uh, Batania setup that we had in the overworld. I know, it's not much, but these five day blooms are slowly filling up this mana pool. And then over here we have some friends. I got Direwolf 20 and Ethos heads and some chests. I watch both of their let's plays, so decided I'd throw them up here. If I get other notable figures, maybe I'll make a little statue garden. I've also got this guy, a weapons mod dummy. Now I assumed I can right click him and he comes back to me. I thought that he would like toss up numbers about how hard I hit him, but that is not the case, unfortunately. But that's okay. Maybe I'll find another way to uh, test out my weapons. For now, he's kind of just a scarecrow. Okay. So, the thing I want to do, though, this episode is move all of my stuff here. It can live here until we actually get our base up and running. And to do that, we need to get started in Applied Energistics. So, I think I've got most of what we'll need in this bag here. We'll take one of the Fluix crystals that we made last episode. And remember, we just made those by tossing some charged uh, Certus Quartz, some Redstone, and some nether quartz all into a pool of water. Speaking of which, at some point I should probably get an actual pool of water here, but I can pull that off of there if I need it. Um, okay, and then we'll need some iron. Oh no, my bag has very little iron in it. Wherever will I get... oh. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see with the easy crafting table. A lot of iron stuff we can make. But what we're looking for is... Maybe not here? What is it called? It is called the Inscriber. Does it not take... Okay. For whatever reason, it's not showing up there. So let's grab our assembly halo. I believe that it is a simple recipe. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. That would be very sad if all of 
applied energistics were blacklisted from this. Let's check. Because I really want my simple crafting table for making some of these AE drives. Okay, but for now, we will leave that be. And you see I've got my power running back here. Uh, I don't mind it being back there because I can't see it. That's also where my neighbor is though, and I didn't want to see them. So they get maybe not the prettiest view. They'll see some of this stuff, my wiring, but that's okay. Oh, that's too bad. Oh well. At some point, maybe I'll get a painting machine set up. We can actually fill those in, which will be neat. Uh, but for the time being, we have our inscriber. And to use the inscriber, we need these presses that you may recall we found in meteors all throughout the land. The other things we'll need are some redstone, some certus quartz, I think. Okay. Uh, this is made with diamond. This is made with certus quartz. Actually, it's only made with pure certus quartz. That's too bad. We will have to get some of that. Uh, this one is made with gold, and I think the last one, yeah, made with silicon. Okay, cool. So let's grab gold out of the bag and some silicon. Okay, we're going to start this off pretty simple. We're going to put in the logic circuit press up top there, and we're going to put gold into the actual printing slot. Now I can only put one gold in at a time, and as I do it will be used up to print a circuit. Uh, we can improve this though. If we grab a chest out of here, bring down our assembly halo again. I gotta stop taking that off my hotbar. There we go. By getting a hopper. Now, if we put how many do we have there? Three. So let's say we want 16 total. Get 13. Put them up here in the item hopper. It is going to not work because the top slot is the wrong slot for that. Do you think we can put it in the right slot? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. So, this is now going to pump out 16 of these logic circuits. And after that, we'll switch it out. In the meantime, let's take a look at what it is we're going to need to craft. So, we are going to need three items to start out with. Well, three and then a bunch. So, the first is an ME drive. This is made out of the engineering processors, which are diamond-based, iron, and some glass cable. The ME glass cable we're going to use quite a bit of, so let's make some now. This requires quartz dust and glass, and then some of these fluix crystals. So, 
Early on in the series, we accidentally ground up some nether quartz, which serves us just fine for the time being, if we remember to get our glass out, because we can get some quartz fiber. Quartz fiber on its own in AE is used to transfer AE power between various uh, machines, but if we do this, we can grab, we'll grab eight for now uh, of the ME glass cable. Okay, one of these we're going to need on its own. This is going to be part of our build. We're going to place it in the world. Two of them are going to be used here. Now the other thing we're going to need is an ME terminal. This is going to require one of the logic processors, that's the gold-based one. Formation and annihilation cores, let's see. Gold processor with Fluix dust. And gold processor, Fluix dust. So we're going to need to make two Fluix dust which I'm going to use the pulverizer for. Because if I had used the sag mill, it would have automatically gotten re-smelted here. Oh, good. Concrete. Okay, so now we have our Fluix dust. We've also finished making our printed logic circuits, so let's take that back. And let's get engineering circuits. For that, we will want diamonds. Uh, of these, I'm not going to make quite as many. We'll make eight. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we're also going to want... Hmm. We actually need sand at this point. So, I think the thing to do is going to be to tell this guy... For the time being, okay, don't want to completely destroy all my supplies of glass. Okay, so let's throw this glass in. What we are going to want is to toss in some cobble. That's going to make sand, and then we'll throw the sand up top again. This will get us more silicon. For each of these circuits we make, we are going to also need a silicon circuit to go with it. So, let's see how that's done. We've got those. So we take the silicon press and we throw silicon in, that's going to make the silicon circuits. There you go, printed silicon. Okay, we're going to need a lot of that. We're also going to need sand for something else, and here's where the water is going to come in. If we take a bucket of water there, I'm just going to place it here for now. Okay. What we are going to want to do is make some pure Certus Quartz. And to do that, first we're going to have to take off our Ring of Magnetization. Gosh, this is going to take a long time. Okay. Here we go. We have our sand. 
what we need to make are certus quartz seeds. For that, we'll need certus quartz dust and sand. So say we want 32 of these. OK. I'm going to grind all of this to try and get more silicon. I'm going to throw my half stack of certus quartz into the pulverizer. I'm going to try and make a stack of certus quartz, uh, or pure certus quartz, which we are going to need for mm, engineering circuits, another kind of circuit. Uh, it is this one. Actually, it's the calculation circuit. So this needs pure certus quartz. And the way you get pure certus quartz is to grow it from certus quartz seeds. So if we take sand, certus quartz, that will make certus quartz seeds. Now, like we did to make the, what is it, the fluix crystals, we need to throw those certus quartz seeds into water for them to grow. Now, they've been in there for a little while. Not very long, but still. Let's look to see what their progress is. 0%. So, as you can see, they take a really long time. Luckily, they don't despawn while they're seeds. I don't know if they despawn once they become pure certus quartz. And there are ways to speed this up and to automate it. And we will get into those really soon because we will need those certus quartz seeds to get grown up. And it's not going to happen the way they are currently going. OK, I'm going to throw the rest of this silicon in. Um, let's look at what else we'll need in order to make our applied energistic system. Okay, there's one more thing I'm looking for. Ah, glowstone. There we go. Okay, so the last thing we're going to need, I said we need this ME terminal, and I started working on what we'll need for these formation cores and annihilation cores. Also, we'll need this panel. And for that, we'll need a bright illuminated panel. Or, OK, an illuminated panel. Glowstone, redstone, iron, and certus quartz. Or, yeah, quartz glass. So to make quartz glass, we need glass and quartz dust. Okay, so do you have the theme of this mod up yet? It's mostly get a lot of everything. Just get everything. I think that's the theme of the mod. Okay. So we are going to grind up all of this nether quartz dust. I'm also going to grind this gravel. That should get me flint. Yes. Which I'm going to add back into my sag mill to increase its output. OK. So while this is happening, we also need to complete our circuits. So first thing, what we'll need the most of are these logic circuits. But we'll also need printed silicon circuits. And we can add both of these. OK. And then to sandwich it, we'll need, OK, can't add them yet. some redstone. So if we put 
all of these in. Hopefully it'll actually make more. Okay, apparently this slot only inputs to the middle, which is too bad. I can shift click things in. Don't like that at all. going to have to figure out how to automate this. Um, I've seen it done with Steve's factory manager, which may honestly be the best way to do it, because all these different slots are not sort of automatically placed where they should be. Uh, they all come in from different sides of the machine which gives you some control, but it also makes it so it's going to be really bulky as far as setting it up. Okay, so we've got the flint, we'll throw that in here. See, that just goes when I shift click it. Oh, well that did too. Anyway, okay. We have our nether quartz dust. Now we can make some quartz glass which I honestly can't see, so we'll just go through this way. Okay, let's make a handful of it. Yeah, okay, all that we could. Now, now that we have that, we can go ahead and make our terminal, almost. Okay. Oh, we get three from that. That's nice, at least. Okay. Oof. Inventory is getting pretty full. Let's put away some of our raw materials. I think we'll need that away these presses. Okay. Cool. Let's see about making all the things we want. This... No, okay. That takes the engineering ones. Let's just make two of those so we can actually make our blocks. The process is pretty fast. It can be sped up by adding upgrades to the slot here. I'm betting those upgrades require a lot more ME infrastructure though, so we'll hold off for the time being. Okay, let's take out our crafting halo. ME drive, awesome. And Of course, put away all those things, which was not clever, but there we go. Formation core and annihilation core should get us an ME terminal. Awesome. Okay, there's actually, I think, one more thing we're going to need. That is an energy acceptor, which, gosh, wouldn't you know it, needs the one other thing we put away. There we go. Okay. Now I think we can sort of get our ME system working. I'm going to take that out, put that there. Okay, we've got our energy acceptor. Then we can take our ME drive, put it down. Take our ME glass cable, place it here. 
And then on that cable, we can put our ME terminal. We now have access to our ME system, which has no storage. To store things in an applied energistic system, you need to make AE drives. These guys here. Different size drives can store different amounts of things. This is the simplest, the 1K storage cell. To make that, we'll need a processor, a bunch of Certus quartz. It's not that bad. Can't hold much stuff, though. We'll want at least 4K, which requires this. You'll notice three of the 1K storage components and a calculation processor which needs the pure Certus Quartz. You see what's happening here? It is sucking us in deeper and deeper. It's kind of an evil mod, but it's very powerful, so we forgive it. Grind up that cobble for me. Yes, more silicon. Okay, so what are we going to need to do in order to speed up this? Because this, let's look, 2%, not fast enough. In order to speed that up, we need something called a crystal growth accelerator. Oh man, okay. Most of this we've got. Thing we don't have is a fluix block. For that, we're going to need a bunch of fluix crystals. We can do that though, because we have a bunch of charged certus quartz a bunch of redstone, a bunch of nether quartz. Let's just look at the uses for charged certus quartz. Grindstone, view cell, energy cell. I don't think only some of this actually requires the charged version. Yeah. I think we're good. I'm going to use it all. And in just a moment, we get a lot of Fluix crystals. Cool. And we'll toss those seeds back in. Okay. So, we have a lot of Fluix crystals. Let's use them. What else are we going to need for the Crystal Growth Accelerator? Okay, glass cable, quartz glass, iron. Okay, iron, glass cable, quartz glass. Okay, let's do this. Now, up to, oh, we did not need nearly this much Fluix crystal. Oh well. We'll need it eventually. Okay, up to four Fluix blocks. Okay, where did, yeah, quartz fiber. Uh, sorry, up to four crystal growth accelerators can be used on a single spot of oh, 
come on. I know what I'm saying, and I'm getting distracted. Um, up to four crystal growth accelerators can be used to accelerate the growth of crystals at a time. Now, the important thing that is involved in this, though, used to be known as ME Dark Cable, but now is known as an ME Toggle Bus. So, glass cable, redstone, lever. That would be doable if I had not just used every last bit of my cobblestone on other things. Oh, goody. Really? Okay, wait. Let's see. Sometimes someone adds. Okay, wait. I got it. I got some stone. Now I have cobblestone. Now I have a lever. Now I have more ME glass cable. Now I have a toggle bus. Awesome. This is going to let me toggle power to the crystal growth accelerators on and off. This is crucial because the things take a ton of power. Okay, what this means though is we're going to have to move that water because we are going to want to put our crystal growth accelerators over here where we have access to power. So, place that there, crystal growth accelerator. Oh. Well, let's look. This is a crystal growth accelerator while it is running. It is actually not completely draining our power, but a little more than I'd like. So actually, what we want to do is use the power of the toggle bus. Okay, let's quickly just fill this back in because we are probably going to run the power off of here. Are we? Are we going to do that? Sure. Okay. Let's try this. Not quite sure how it's going to work out yet. Okay. So. Okay. Here's our power source. We were to put this, hmm, not that. Yes, guys, I am going to take the time to completely change out a block that we may never see again. Okay. If we take our glass cable, put it here, and add to it the toggle bus. You can see the toggle bus is actually part of a multi block with that glass cable. Uh, that just means they're both in the same block. So we break one, we break them both. I realized I wanted to do that because I only need quartz fiber. I don't actually need the glass cable. Uh, 
At least I th think so. Yeah, because that will transfer. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Sorry, guys. I haven't actually played around with Applied Energistics 2, which is what we are doing now. Okay. So, put that down. We take our Crystal Growth Accelerators. Okay, we're going to try this again. Why is the glass cable not attaching to them? That's because it is not the right cable for this job. Apparently. I was pretty sure that I had that right. Okay, so why don't we try it again? Shall we? Let's take this and this out so we can stand here. Okay. Oh, I got it. Can't connect to the sides. That is just fine with me. Okay. Toggle bus. Cable. It's really not fine with me, actually. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Because if we run it on the top here, it's going to be kind of awful and ugly. Okay, I need to remind myself this is a temporary setup, but still, I want it to look nice. So, here's what we're going to have to do. First of all, we are going to need a few more pieces of this cable. Tap this here. I was wrong. Holy cow, guys. I apologize. This episode is going way long, and it's just me dithering about where I'm going to put cables. Let's do this. That goes there. We put the toggle bus here. Now. From the toggle bus, okay, let's do this one more time. Toggle bus, we want, uh, if we morph into a tiny form, okay, we want it to go, no, no, no. This is the worst. This is just the worst. Okay. Try again. Toggle bus. Can I do it this way? No, I cannot. Yeah, I'm thinking because I actually can't get any lower than this, I won't wait, wait, unless I do it this way. That'll work. Okay. Now, one crystal growth accelerator is going to go here. 
they can be placed multiple directions. Good to know. Awesome. This is a comedy of errors. Okay, go in here. This cable is going to come down here, and it's going to go Uh, that's going to cause trouble. It's going to go around. Like so. We are going to put crystal growth accelerators in each of these places. This gets its wood back. This gets its wood back. This may work, it may not. Let's check. If we were to get a stick and place it like so, this block should be directly above. Yes, it's alive. OK. The one problem we have is this right here. We can solve that, though, very quickly, very easily, right before we end the episode. All we need is a quartz cutting knife, which we can make very easily. If we grab two of those and our crafting halo, we will just do this. We will grab our quartz cutting knife like so. We will put iron here. This will give us two cable anchors, sorry, six. If we take those and we put a jungle wood plate in the middle, we will get facades, which we can then put, like so, on top of the cable, and it disappears. And it's time for me to disappear. Okay. Wait, there's one more thing we need to do. I know. I know. I feel it too. I've been here too long. I'm going slightly mad. Grab this water. Grab those seeds. Take this water. Take these seeds. 4% that whole time. 4%. Turn this on. Watch. Okay, it's working now. You will see we are not draining. Huh. Oh yes, we are draining from our magmatic dynamo. We are not keeping up as far as power gen goes, which is the reason why we want to be able to turn this on and off. But if we watch these magical seeds... So, you may recall, actually I might be able to put one more crystal growth accelerator on the bottom there, and I will. I will do it, because they've got directionality, right? Okay, so now that we've got those, if I were to grab them, we can see that in that time they've gone 45%. Awesome. Okay. That's it. Between this episode and next, I'm going to make a bunch of those, uh, I don't know, thingies? I can't remember what they're called. Circuits. Uh, I will also... Yeah. Make a ton of those. I'm just going to make a ton of them. Just a ton of them. So that we can get our ME drives next episode. Okay. This has been the Lethean with playing Minecraft for too long without actually doing anything super exciting for you. I'm sorry about that. I don't know. It's kind of exciting. We're going to have an enemy system soon. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.